Hey, how we doing? Flair family. Um, I want to do a video today about staking. Um, I think there's a lot of um, confusion. Um, I know there's questions about the effectiveness, the worthiness. Um, and I think at this point, most of us all know to delegate to the FDSO um, and how to do that. Uh, twice a week, we should be evaluating those to make sure we're maximizing our returns. Um, and I did a video on how to delegate to the FTSO, how to find the best FTSO to delegate to, how to look at the stats, how to make sure that you're maximizing your uh, returns and opportunities. But I wanted to uh, do another video on how to how to stake, um, not necessarily how to stake. I think it's pretty easy for using the Bifrost wallet. Um, but I will show you um, how to stake real briefly. Um, but really, I wanted to just talk about a couple of tools to help you um, understand the staking ROI or returns on staking um, and a couple of really good tools that have come out um, that kind of help with that. So that's the purpose of the video. Um, you know, please like, subscribe, share the video uh, if it's content that you feel is worthy. And uh, let me know, send some comments. Let me know if you got any questions um, or if you have any feedback, um, leave that in the video as well. Um, so the first thing I'll do is let me go ahead and share my screen so that I can show you the first tool that I use in order to try to evaluate uh, the effectiveness of, uh, of the staking. And this is actually, um, there is actually a new tool that has come out, uh, come out recently by um, Flare.Space. So here's the tweet on May 22nd. Uh, and it was actually shared as well by uh, Flare uh, Network's uh, X account. But um, on this one, I love it. It says, those who say they know exactly how much they will get from staking are liars. Obviously, it is um, uh, it is a jab at those who say they don't know what they're going to get for staking. And, uh, and they've built a really good tool. You know, uh, one of the things I've found is that these FTSO providers – these validators, uh, they're building. You should visit each and every one of those and look at their tools. Uh, this is a very value-added tool that they've built uh, to give you some evaluation of the statistics um, that may lie on the P-chain. But here's their tweet, um, flare.space. Um, those for the non-liars, we've improved our P-chain explorer with some actionable data, including APR. So this actually shows you the APR for staking for each of the FTSO uh, or validators, if you will. Uh, as you can see from this screenshot, and I'm going to take you to this site here in a second, um, but right here you sh it shows in the far right what the actual APR is for your validator that you might be staking to or maybe looking to stake to. Um, you can sort this, so you can press you know, um, the up arrow or down arrow and sort it. Um, and then also you can you know take note of how much free space they have available. Um, obviously, these validators require a minimum of 50,000 flare to stake. Uh, but then also pay attention to the fee, right? Because uh, the fee itself might be something that may uh, influence your uh, decision. But if you understand what the APR is, you understand what the fee is, uh, that may help you decide who you want to stake with. Um, it shows you how much time they have remaining. Um, and in many cases, you can find out how long their staking periods are. Um, you can do a minimum typically of 14 days um, and then a maximum of however long they have. So this is um, this is the uh, validator um, tool that Flare.Space built, um, and they tweeted it out. And again, that's Flare underscore dot underscore space. Uh, there's the tweet. If you go to uh, my um, Twitter, I'm the number four a home loan for a home loan. So you can find me at for a home loan, the number four. Uh, and you can also find this uh, as one of my uh, favorite tweets. And I've also tweeted it uh, out a couple of times as well. So let me show you the tool. Let's go ahead and click into the tool and um, and let's see what, uh, what it actually looks like. Uh, so let me stop presenting there. Let me pull up the actual tool so that you can see what it looks like in real time. Um, <coughs> excuse me. All right. So here we go. Um, so this is the validator tab. So just so you know, if you happen to get here and it doesn't show up, 
um, you can find this information by just searching for the validators. Um, you're going to look for validators under analyze. You'll see validators and it'll pull up this page. Um, typically, what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll sort by the APR. Uh, and the APR will show you the estimated annual percentage rate based on uh, EPOP rewards. And so in this case, 16 uh, percent. So whoever is staking to Hoog, um, they've got a 16 percent APR. Hoog has a 2 percent fee. This is why they have no free space. They've got 50 million flare as their current stake. No free space. They're locked up until August 28th, 83 days remaining. The fee is 2 percent. Sick, right? Sick. Good uptime as well. So if I want to get Hoog next time, I got to make sure I stake, uh, make sure I I'm in a position to unstake before this uh, before this ends and be ready to restake uh, as soon as their new one opens uh, on 828 at uh, 2 o'clock a.m. UTC. Um, the next one is Sundara. You can see they've got 9,500 left. Of course, you need 50,000 right now on a stake minimum. So then I would go down to the next one with available space, and that'd be A41. They've got 98,000 FLR free space available. Their fee is only 7.5%, which is pretty damn good. Uh, and their APR is 15.26%. So you can see uh, that there's the APRs, uh, depending on who you've got. Uh, right now, I've got some stuff within the block, 10% fee, 14.85% APR, which is pretty good. So you can go through and look at this list, and you can find where your provider is, uh, your validator that you're staking with. Uh, and if you haven't staked yet, you can come and use this as a tool. Um, Focus FTSO, who's got the um, who's got the uh, the NFTs that are out there and the additional rewards. If you stake to them and you have the NFTs, um, they've got a very good APR at thirteen point three six. Plus, you're going to be getting some additional flare rewards for staking your uh, NFT with them. Um, they've got two. Here goes our second one. It's right in the same range, thirteen point two eight percent. Um, buy frost wallet at 13.32 percent, right? So you can kind of see, um, price kraken is another good one, 13.2 percent. There's another buy frost wallet validator. Uh, Google's in here as well, anchor is in here. Um, so you can kind of see where all they all are ranking. Um, and you know, if you're at a point to where you're trying to figure out who to stake with, it's also a good tool. Um, sort by APR, like I did come and look at available space and go over and decide what the APR is, uh, what the fee is. Um, the fee drives your rewards, right? If the fees are higher, um, then, you know, a portion of your, your rewards are going to be going to pay that fee. Um, the lower the fee, the more rewards you're going to get. So these are all things that affect um, how many rewards you get from staking. But there you go. Flare.space uh, has given us a tool that shows what the APR is for staking. So for everyone out there who's wondering, well, what's the APR or what's the what is the return for staking? There you go. A um, couple things about staking uh, and Hugo has stated this as well. Staking will uh, be a better deal until there's about 30 percent staked. Once you get to the 30 percent mark that's being staked, um, then it's going to start balancing and then maybe even tilting back to the delegate delegation in terms of the higher ROIs. But right now, um, clearly, we don't have 30 percent staked, so the staking rewards are still pretty darn good. And um, you know, a lot of people are concerned about it; they don't know how it works. Um, you know, my my suggestion is is that you pick a validator, you stake with them, uh, you keep track of the date that that it's going to unlock or unstake. Um, that way, you don't leave it. Uh, to where it's not being staked. You keep track of the date. Everyone shows an end time. As you can see, this column, it shows end times, right? So again, I can sort by the end time. So there's some that are ending tomorrow, right? Some that are ending tomorrow. So uh, Luga nodes, for example, is the stake is ending tomorrow. So if you are staked with Luga nodes, you should have a calendar reminder, um, pretty good APR, 10% fee. You should have a calendar reminder that pops up that says, hey, let me restake uh, with my validator. So <clears throat> so just wanted to share this very helpful tool from Flare.Space. And I certainly will leave a link to the tweet, um, you know, so that you can get back to that tweet and uh, and also a link to this website uh, in the notes and the comments of this video so that you can access it um, easily uh, if you'd like to as well. Um, be very careful with uh, with using other links uh, from other people in the comments, 
um, because we know scammers are out there, man. Scammers are out there big time. So this is the P-Chain Explorer that Flare.Space has put together to help you evaluate the validators from an APR perspective when it comes to staking. Um, and uh, staking doesn't have to be um, a fearful thing. As you can see, there's 94 validators, uh, four, four, five million, 5.5 million staked. Um, the reward cap is 279 million and you got 4169 in terms of people who are, who are delegating. So, you know, uh, don't be fearful, but understand uh, that uh, you do need to keep track of it. Um, but the thing that I like about staking is I don't have to deal with it every week, twice a week. I don't have to do that. Um, I just need to go in every two weeks and claim my rewards uh, that I get for staking. And, uh, and then I basically just compound those right back in. Uh, send them right back in uh, to from a delegating standpoint until I get 50,000. Now, clearly what will happen after today is we have Scepter, right? Scepter is going to have liquid staking and you don't have the 50,000 um, minimum quantity for staking that you got to contend with uh, that you do right now as the way staking is set up with the validators. So Scepter's liquid staking is going to be hot. It's going to be a hot tool. Um, you know, there's some fees associated with that. I think it's a 10% when you unstake, which is not unrealistic. I think that's a pretty fair staking fee. Um, and it's going to compound the rewards, compound the delegations, compound the airdrops. So Scepter is going to be hot. Um, it's going to be a hot one. So looking forward to uh, that functionality to come out um, tomorrow. I believe it's going to open up. Early birds are doing it now. I think tomorrow it should be opening up for the rest of us. And I do have a bag of flare on the sidelines waiting to be liquid staked. So I'm ready to deploy those in Kinetic, deploy those in Enosis, deploy those in the other dApps that are yet to be announced. Um, I'm psyched. Flare's got a lot going on. I'm pretty excited. I've been on this project um, studying it since uh, since 12, 20 of 20 when, uh, when they did the snapshot uh, and uh, even before then when they announced it. So pretty excited about it um but i'm maximizing my returns right now and validating i also do some delegating but uh most of my most of my stack of flare is uh is, sta is staked it's mostly staked because the rewards have been better um so uh the only other thing i've got for you guys there is also another really good and really helpful um tool if you want to look at uh ftso.au FTSO.AU, and let me pull up the their uh, their Twitter page um, so that you can see what I'm referring to. <coughs> excuse me. So FTSOU for the longest, <clears throat> excuse me, has provided comparison uh, historical data is looking at certain epoch ranges. You can see 175 to 194, um, comparing delegating to staking, and this has been a very uh, very helpful um, tool. So here you can see column one shows the epoch, two shows what FTS, FTSO AU delegating rewards have been, FTSO delegating rewards, what the highest listed has been, highest unlisted has been, and then staking. Here's a comparison column. What staking has looked like comparatively to the highest delegator, uh, highest listed and unlisted. And so you get an idea, you know, at least historically, how it looks, right? So for the most part, um, you've got, you know, just a few exceptions where staking has been higher, but there's been a couple of unlisted, um, uh, unlisted comparisons. Like you look at Epoch 187, you can see the highest unlisted delegator was actually a little bit higher than staking. But for the most part, staking has been higher, higher rewards per epoch. And uh, that's pretty much uh, the comparison, um, you know, for you to see. This is something that comes out every week. FTSO AU uh, does this every week. This is out there every week. And then they also pin the tweet uh, to the top of their timeline. So you can see uh, if you go to FTC, FTSO AUs, um, you're pretty much going to see uh, they pin the most recent one right there. So FTSO AU is a very good delegator, one that I actually have some staked to as well. And I love their, uh, their DAP. Uh, I will take a quick second. <coughs> If you go to their <clears throat> Twitter page, um, it will bring up uh, this ftso.au, <clears throat> open the app, <clears throat> excuse me, connect to Flare Songbird. So let me connect that real quick, <clears throat> just so I can show you 
what it looks like. Give me one second so I can navigate MetaMask. Okay, here we go. All right, so connect wallet. It's connected. You can delegate directly from FTSO, FTSO.au's app, um, straight delegation, um, collect rewards, and then you can also stake. You can also stake, connect the public key, um, and it will take you. I'm going to back out of this because I realize uh, because I'm running MetaMask, it is extremely slow. Um, but let me get back in real quickly again. Just to show you, you'd connect your public key. Um, and then there's some other notifications that have come up in MetaMask for you to work through. There's different videos out there. There's a tutorial as well um, that FTSOAU does have <clears throat> as far as helping with the staking process. Um, so, you know, just uh, just know that if you're interested in staking through the FTSOU app, you can do that. You can also just go to Bifrost Wallet if you have Bifrost and you can stake in there. It's very simple. But I wanted to show you you have the ability on their site to wrap, delegate, and or stake uh, to FTSOAU. So um, there you have it, guys. That's the uh, I think that's about the uh, most information I wanted to share with you today uh, about staking. Um, you know, I, I kind of went over the P-Chain Explorer that Flare.Space uh, has put together to show you the APY on staking. And then also you can kind of get some comparisons with FTSOU.AU um, by looking at their tweets they do every week to show um, staking versus delegating in terms of rewards per epoch. Uh, let me know what questions you have, what comments you have. Um, here to help. Uh, typically, we'll also tweet Flare Education, Flare, E-D-U-C-A-T-I-O-N. So let me know if you got questions. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate your time.